Uh, so what goes through your mind when you find an undercover gem when you're out collecting something really valuable? Hey everybody, it's Najee Dorsey and you're with Naj now. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, you know, the crazy part about it, sometimes you don't necessarily know how valuable something is when you initially find it. You know, I remember early on in our days of collecting, uh, I mean, I focus on African American art right now, and it has been for a long time, but back in the early days when I would just be out, you know, hitting up some thrift stores, I came across this piece by um, this uh, animated piece. It was a piece by Flavia Wheaton. Um, I later found out, I saw Disney on the back, and I said it was an original painting of a Disney character, one I wasn't familiar with. And I got it, was happy to get it, think I paid $80 for it. Um, tried to find some initial research on it. This early days of, of internet, couldn't really find anything. Years later, I just happened to say, well, let me see if I can find some on this artist. And I pulled it up online and come to find out the work was selling for, you know, seven to nine thousand dollars at galleries. You know, at the time that it was created in the seventies, it was selling for seven hundred to nine hundred dollars. So, I mean, but did I buy because of that? No. I mean, I saw it. I thought it was interesting. You know, and saw that it was Disney on the back. But you know, those are the type of things that are just some of those happy accidents. Are just some of the things that just kind of you know good fortune that comes your way when you're out scavenging and hunting around for things.